hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how you can extend your starlink network okay so from my previous video where i explained or where i talked about the frequently asked questions about starlink someone commented on the comment section asking me to make a video on how starlink network can be extended so i'll be explaining that in this video before i continue please if you have been watching my video and you have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and if you watch any of my video and you learn something from it please give me a thumbs up click on the like button and also comment if you have any other question or you want me to explain anything again from that particular video drop it on the comment section below i'm going to attend to that so all this is just a, a kind of a, a, an appreciation to encourage me to keep going and to be giving you guys the best i can do in those videos okay so thank you guys now let's continue so i'll be using these buildings to do this illustration okay so i have a uh, building a i will have building b and building c okay so let's assume that this is the main office Let me remove uh, this and bring it down. Okay, so let's assume that this is the main uh, office. So from this office, we want to extend the uh, network to building A and building B. Okay, now for you to be able to extend your Starlink network to other buildings, you need something called the Starlink adapter now starlink normally doesn't have an ethernet port so for you to be able to convert the starlink router to ethernet port you are going to use the adapter provided by starlink which is the starlink adapter okay so you are going to get a starlink adapter and some network devices now this is the design so from your starlink this is the starlink terminal which are going to mount on top of the building as usual now, if you don't know how to configure a Starlink, I'm going to drop the link. I've made a video on that. I'm going to drop the link in the description below. How to search for a perfect location for your Starlink installation video. I'm going to drop the link. And frequently asked questions on Starlink, the link will be in the description below. Please watch these videos and have your Starlink successfully installed. So this is what the Starlink Ethernet adapter looks like. Okay. So from your Starlink kit, the first cable will come down to the adapter. Then from the other end, one of the cable will go to your router. So the adapter has an Ethernet port here. So I'm going to get an Ethernet cable and connect it from the adapter here to your LAN. Okay, so your LAN is the switch that you're going to have inside the main building. Okay, so LAN means local area network. If you have not watched my video on uh, the types of uh, network we have the LAN, the one the pan please the video is on my channel all right so you're going to bring this down to the LAN, which is the switch you are going to use to distribute this network all right so from this switch other devices can come to it now you can connect it directly to your router that is a third party router another router not the not to the Starlink router. So if you have any other router I want to use, you can use it and do your configuration. But I prefer using switch, okay, directly to switch. Once you put it directly to switch, you don't need any much configuration. If I don't, you don't even need any configuration at all. So once you put it in your switch, your switch already have a network. You can now do your extensions, okay. Except if um, your client maybe needs something like uh, ACLs okay like access controls you want to control how users use the network then you can go for a router a router that have the capability of running an ACL okay so I believe you understand this connection this is the first thing you are going to do so once you can terminate this connection in the main building then you can follow the next procedure I'm going to show you so let's go back to the first slide so once you have succeeded with those connections that I show you in the last slide in this building, from the switch now, okay, so let me assume this is an office where you mounted a switch, okay? 
so from this particular switch now you're going to get an access point this is an example of an access point so this is the second device we need for this installation okay now this is an outdoor type of access point we have the indoor and we have the outdoor so this is for outdoor okay so this access point will be mounted somewhere at the building now using an ethernet cable you're going to connect it from the switch to the access point okay so access points have different modes access points have an access mode it has a client mode or a station mode it has a bridge mode it also has a repeater mode and it has a router mode so depending on the type of access point you buy okay so every company has their own configurations so depending on what you want when you want to purchase your access point you should buy the ones that have the configuration that you need okay so this access point will be here to be configured on access mode so i'm running uh, a free two months uh, networking class i'm going to drop the whatsapp link in the description below you can join that class we're going to be learning some of these things in that particular class okay how to do this configuration access mode router mode and many many of them so if you want to join the class the link will be in the description below all right so this particular access point will be configured to be on access mode so we're going to have another access point here hmm, sorry my diagram and also we're going to have another access point here now depending on the nature of the building all right if the buildings are side by side this way then you can have two access points one here one here if the building if this particular building is very far away from these ones then you need another access point here that will supply feed to this but i'm just using just one two here because i believe that these two buildings are side by side and they are facing the main one okay so configuring this particular access point to be on access mode what access mode does in access point is that it converts ethernet to wireless okay then these two are going to be configured at station mode now station mode means it receives wireless and transmits it to ethernet okay so access mode ethernet to wireless station mode wireless to ethernet okay now in a situation where you have buildings around that are not point to point because this example i'm believing that these buildings are facing each other okay so so i'm running this point to point so the work of this particular access point here is just to distribute this wireless for these guys to be able to transmit it to their LAN. okay so you are going to have a switch here inside this building and also you have another switch inside this building so the switch will be connected to the access point so these two access points receives wireless signal from this access point here then transmit it to their switches so from the switch inside the building you can extend it using another access point or you get a router that has a wireless capability connect it to the switch and do your configuration and it will be transmitting wirelessly so the same thing here you can use an access point or a router that has a network a wireless capability sorry to extend your wireless so in this main building the same thing can happen here maybe there are some offices that need that this particular network is not reaching so you can still use a wireless access point to extend them or you get something called a repeater okay so there's a network device called a repeater so this is an example of a repeater sorry i'm just using tp link this is not a paid advert you can use any company at all that suits you okay but tp link are okay there are other ones that are very very okay like ubiquiti like uh, microtik and many many of them d-link many of them are okay yeah.
Okay, so use those ones that work best for you. So you're going to use the uh, wireless extender here in any of the building. Just put it somewhere that you can still get signal from your router or access point from anywhere. Put it in a particular room and to do your configuration. So the configuration is not hard, it's just a repeater. What it does is that it collects network and repeats it. Okay. So you can add it to anywhere here. You can add it to anywhere here, depending on how large the building is. There are different types of access points. Okay, we have a point to point, we also have omni direction. So if you have a building that are not facing each other this way, I would advise you use the omni direction. So this is first option. The second option is to run cable from this particular switch to the switch in this building and also run another cable either from this switch to this switch or if this building is closer you can run a cable from this switch to this switch but remember whenever you are running a cable from building to building in your client site avoid plying your cable so if you have a way you can run your cable to be hidden and very neat you can go for cable option but if you don't have that get the best access point you can use and lock the signals to each other so guys i believe i've tried my best to uh, bring justice to this question if you still have any challenge or maybe there's anything that is still confusing you from what i've demonstrated drop it on the comment section below i'm going to attend to that question so like i said initial i'm having a two month free course so it's going to be just free okay two months free networking course and it's going to be starting on 22 of july 2024 so the link to the whatsapp group will be on the description below click on it if you are interested it's going to be a free class okay so click on it and join we're going to talk about some of these things in that group so if you have any question you feel like you want to ask in the period of that class you can write them down and we are going to talk about it in the period of the training okay Thank you guys please don't forget to like subscribe and also share this video with a friend i might be having challenge on how to extend their starlink network thank you guys i'll see you in my next video